this person, I don't know if it's this person or you, um, you, let's see, we have energy and provide. So I feel like someone looks at you like you're an energy source. Um, somebody could be getting a divorce and going towards their divine femur masculine. And don't you dare even start putting fucking words in my mouth. I never once fucking said that this person was getting a divorce and leaving someone to be with you or that they cheated on them with you. So don't start the karmic bullshit. Keep your fucking mouth shut. I didn't say that. Okay. So don't even start your bullshit in the comments. It happens every time I do these readings. Do not start your shit. I didn't say this person was cheating on their spouse with you. I didn't say that they were leaving their spouse for you. Someone is going through a divorce and they're going to be coming towards you and this is how they view you, okay? And if it's not you, then it's not your message and you don't need to run your mouth anyway, so don't even. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting a very irritated energy. Um, this person is just very irritated. They're tired of dealing with this person. They view you, um, as an energy source able to provide you they could see you as like a provider they may be feeling very defensive over you with the defend so you may have been in a relationship with them before at some point they see your ability to adapt and they see your courage and your strength and perseverance or this is how they're going to view you um just because i said that they could have been in a relationship with you and i'm picking up on that defensive energy doesn't mean that that has to be the case. But this person does feel defensive over you. They feel very protective over who this message is for. And if it's not for you, then just let it go. Yeah, something was not a two of cups situation. So once again, there is a breakup here <clears throat> of a relationship situation. And someone has a decision to make or someone is at the crossroads and they could have made a decision someone um, could have already filed they could be finalizing a divorce they could be going through it yeah someone took some sort of swift action to put an end to a relationship they can know this is not going to go anywhere they feel stressed they feel agitated um, they look at you and they see your energy they see how you've healed um, possibly if you've gone through some sort of breakup um, this person could, um, come to you for some sort of advice or, you know, I don't want to say lean on you, but, you know, um, you may find comfort within each other. Or this could happen after the breakup or divorce. They are separating from an empress in the reverse. So this is um, an emotionally manipulative tactic using feminine energy. Someone sees that they planted for finances are growing. So someone is reaping the harvest from their finances. This could be you or the person that you want to go towards. <clears throat> this could be you that's going through a divorce or separation. You know, take it how it resonates to your situation. And if it doesn't resonate, then it's not your message. Somebody was a thief. So this could be a thief of time, money, energy, resources. This person feels drained. <clears throat> they know this relationship is just causing stress and heartache. Um, and somebody was just a thief. And they don't want to stay connected to this person. It's like they were trapped in a negative situation where they were only being used. Somebody lost a significant amount of money, and this caused an injury. So someone lost a good amount of money. Ten of Pentacles is a lot of money. So someone was a thief, and someone stole a, a large amount of money from somebody. There's an offer traveling towards someone after they heal from some sort of heartbreak. There was a big tower moment, and they want to come and reveal some sort of secret. So there's some secret that's going to be revealed. Um, this could be them coming towards you or you traveling towards someone to reveal your feelings for somebody. This tower moment is unforeseen events, circumstances. Events are out of everyone's control because someone was hiding their true personality. Someone was just a gold digger. So this person could be healing from a heartbreak, or this could be you that's healing from a heartbreak after a separation. 
or you could be going through that now. Someone sees that you are held in high honor or you, you are this person. Someone knows that you're respectable, that you wouldn't use them for their money or for their resources, that you wouldn't try to rip them off. Somebody couldn't stop thinking about something or daydreaming about something or a situation. You have money coming towards you. So someone couldn't stop daydreaming about how to stop someone from having a new start or a new beginning. So we have someone here that was cock blocking or trying to interfere in this person separating and moving on from this toxic relationship. There could be a group of people here working together to support somebody or help them get back on their feet or help them heal. Yeah, somebody tried to take options away from another person. They didn't want someone to heal. They didn't want someone to have a new start or a new beginning. They didn't want someone to move on. Someone wanted to take someone's options away from them. This could be a queen of wands, a player energy, someone who is not a leader, but someone is going to be traveling and moving forward. They could be traveling towards you or moving towards you, or you could be moving in with this person or traveling towards this person. Yeah, someone got a message of concern that, um, you know, someone's not out of options. Whatever tactics they did, it didn't work. Somebody went through a lot of trouble, and they have a lot of connections to make it look like they're helping somebody. But in fact, um, it's more efforts to keep them single and away from having their new start or new beginning. This is kind of an odd energy. Um, but someone's getting the message of concern that um, someone is not out of options and they may have a safe place to go if you feel like you didn't have a safe place to go. Um, this could be how you're feeling or how this other person is feeling. But you are going to have your new start or your new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new job, a new house, a new relationship. Somebody worked really hard to stop this from happening. This could be the person that's refusing to want to separate from somebody. <clears throat> the person that tried to stop this, stop you from having options, is on the wrong side of the wheel of fortune here. They're experiencing bad luck for interfering in your life. Or they will be. Because you are going to be celebrating. You are going to have your new start, your new beginning. You're going to be moving, traveling, um, and you're going to be celebrating. And if you're one that says, I don't want a new relationship, I don't want this, I don't want that, then, you know, then it's not for you. Somebody was trying to stop someone from making finances so they couldn't move forward or have any options. So someone could have intentionally gotten someone fired from a job or tried to affect someone's money source or stop them from working. Um, they could have affected their health mentally, physically, emotionally, you know stop them yeah the empress in reverse was trying to stop somebody from um, making finances or finances are not coming towards this empress this empress in reverse could have been expecting to receive some sort of money or finances this could be um you know child support alimony something like that so somebody expected to get some sort of money out of this person and they're not getting it Let's move on here. Um, let's check my Wizard of Oz. Someone is very agitated with this Empress. It's like they're very irritable. 
which I can understand why, because they were trying to keep this person stuck in the hangman energy, and someone's getting communication, a message of concern that someone isn't stuck, someone is not stuck in their hangman energy, and something is over. Someone is getting the message that they're the ones that are stuck from creating blockages or putting blockages in somebody's path, that they can't continue stopping them or interfering um, with whatever options they have. They're also getting a message that there is a judgment that didn't go in their favor or that isn't going in their favor. So there could be a judgment that's actually going against this person. So if they were expecting to get some sort of money or finances, um, they're not getting that. This person wants to go towards their um, <clears throat> Divine Femme. Someone has gone through a transformation. They've gone from Empress to High Priestess. And they want to celebrate their newfound freedom with their Divine Counterpart. Or this Empress who is in the Upright. Actually High Priestess, I should say. This Karmic energy, this Karmic Femme energy was very cold-hearted. They were not an official person. So this is like the Hierophant energy in the reverse. Somebody who was like a dark spiritualist. Somebody could have been using spell work or something to try to keep this person trapped or in this situation. I actually did record a reading that I did delete because it was way too... There's too much energies and it was too confusing. But there was a dark feminine energy who was a dark spiritualist and they were doing love spells and so whatever spell work they were doing it was distorting the energy so bad but i feel like it could be connected to this it doesn't have to be but i ended up not uploading it i deleted it because it was just too all over the place um the person obviously has some sort of spirituality and um they're they were using spell work love spell was the very first um card that came out during that reading so they were doing some sort of love spell and trying to get a masculine to go on a date with them trying to like reconcile um with them so that they wouldn't get a divorce or something i picked up the energy that this person may have tried to sway them with like a homemade meal or dinner or something in which this person would have put something in their food or yeah it was gross but um the energy kept alternating back between a feminine energy and a masculine energy and it was coming out very distorted, so I ended up not loading it up, but we have an emperor here that is, um, well, an empress, that could be an empress, there's a feminine energy and a masculine energy that are coming together up out of the wilderness, so this, this one has a bow, this one has a crown, so I don't know, there could be a masculine and a feminine energy, or a masculine and or feminine energy that's coming out of the wilderness. They're not lost, they know who they want to go towards. This has a witchy energy in despair, because this is a high priestess in the reverse. And then I have a masculine energy here in the reverse so once again there's that um it's like that distorted energy of like going back and forth so i feel like maybe this is connected this person was doing love spells and stuff like that to keep this masculine they were trying to overpower or dominate this person by using spell work or magic We have a feminine energy here that's not going anywhere. They're swimming against quicksand because we have a mother figure here who's watching a family and taking a moment to pause and reflect about something. So you could actually already have a family with this masculine and that also came out in that reading I did not upload. Um, you, um, whoever the divine feminine is and the energy, you are a mother, you could share a child with this person already. So whether you were married or in a relationship or not, um, you share a child 
and this feminine energy could also have a child with them uh, you know it you know take it how it resonates but anyway someone is um this witchy energy is watching this mother figure and their family and reflecting and trying to see how they can stop this union from happening this person's actually doing spell work on this divine femme as well Someone's about to be moving or traveling, and someone is watching and enjoying what you do. There's a there's a masculine energy that's getting ghosted or that's going to ghost somebody. Uh, so this person who was doing spell work and thought this was funny, this masculine ghosted them. And they have to move. They have to move. So this feminine energy could have to leave this residence or be moving out, or um, they they have to get they're getting kicked out or something. They're they're ghosting this person because they were doing shit and they think something is funny. They were doing spell work and you know watching behind the scenes. This person's coming into union with you. They're divine femme, or you are this divine masculine. Yeah, someone took a moment to, uh, there's a group here that took a moment, or there is um, a reflection regarding a group and a feminine energy in the reverse. This feminine energy could have had a group of people working against a divine femme or doing, helping them do spell work on this person. I'm also getting that this person was trying to reflect and copy or imitate this divine femme so that this masculine would not leave her and go towards their divine counterpart there's a group here that's banding together to help sit a situation this could be a group that's going to help um help someone possibly even that they were working against so maybe a group that was working against somebody before oh no no, this group that was working against you um, was hired by the third party, by a third party, or they said that you were a third party. And that's coming to a stop. So this feminine energy tried to say, okay, so, you know, my little disclaimer at the beginning when I was bitching about being in the comments saying that this person left you or, you know, cheated on this person with you. No, 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 no. But that's what this female told somebody to get this group to attack a divine femme. This empress in the reverse told a group of people that you put them in a third party situation and that you were the third party. That shit's coming to an end. They hit a brick wall because it just isn't true. Because you did not cheat with this person when they were in a relationship. If you slept with this person you were not aware that they were married or they lied about being single. Or this person just made some shit up just to get them to attack you. That's why this person is turning their back on this feminine energy. They found out that this um, karmic femme sent a group of people in to attack you. And them. So... This masculine energy found out that this feminine energy, this karmic femme energy, was doing spell work on both of you. Someone's about to get some resources, or someone has resources. Someone was trying to stop someone from rebuilding and moving forward, though. So, you could be friends with this person. So, you could be friends with this person, and it's moving into a romantic relationship... But um, somebody said that um, there was more to the situation going on. Um, this, this feminine energy was trying to keep this masculine juggling so much so they couldn't come towards you. But you could actually be friends with this person. So maybe, um, you know, this is a, a man and woman who are friends or something like that. Or maybe you stayed on friendly terms with your ex after you split up. Once again, this is not for everyone. If you and your ex want to kill each other, 
This is not your message, okay? Um, but this karmic fan wanted this person to be juggling so much that they couldn't come towards you. But because they know that you're on good terms with this person or friendly with them. I'm better than you have been or ever will be. So this person thinks that they're better than you. And this is what was coming out in that one that I didn't upload. Because one minute this person comes up as a feminine energy and another time they come up as a masculine energy. So, you know, maybe for some it's a feminine energy, maybe for some it's a masculine. But I know that there's a lot of distorted energies going on because of the spell work that was done. This person could also know that you're a card reader. So if you read cards, this person is intentionally distorting their energy so you can't read it. I mean, I'm still reading it. I can still see what's going on. All they're doing is trying to swap their fucking genders, which is just... It makes for a confusing read for people who don't understand how it works, which is why I didn't upload the other one. Because I don't know how many people are like, that doesn't make sense. Well, that's because it's not your message anyway. But instead of dealing with the bullshit, I just didn't even bother. That's cool. Hey, you know what's even cooler than a Triceratops? Every other dinosaur that ever existed. So this person thinks they're better than you, but this isn't new to you. Um, this is not the first person who thought they were better than you, and plus you don't give a shit anyway because you don't worry about other people's opinions and you don't compete because you're a high priestess or priest, so it doesn't really matter. It's just that people get so caught up in the genders that they don't, uh, they miss the whole point of the message altogether. There's a masculine energy here. It doesn't have to be masculine, but there has to be a cord cutting done. This person's still doing spell work. I will let harm befall him. I will even let him die, but I will ne never let him lose dignity. I'm telling you, this is like the same shit that came out in the one that I didn't even upload. <clears throat> this person could have put something in this masculine's food if this masculine did agree to this date because i was picking up on the energy that they could have this masculine could have agreed to go on this date with this female to give her some sort of closure this female energy did not take that as closure she took it as um, a step towards a reconciliation and, and a chance to do more spell work so when she cooked this person food she put some shit in this food and it made this masculine sick And someone's left looking like a pompous asshole. So this person was all smug, thinking that they accomplished something um, just because, you know, they were like, oh, it worked because it made him sick or ill or made her sick or ill, whatever. But this person was very confident and very smug. And, um, you know, this person thinks that they just, they're going to win because they feel like they're better than a divine femme. Or a masculine, just flip the rules as needed, but it was very clearly um, a femme energy in this reading and the last energy, even though they keep trying to distort it, I can still see it. Did I truck 300 bales of hay to a parking lot to rectify some childhood disappointment? Yes. So someone needs to heal their childhood wounds. Hello, welcome, place for hay, place for hay, because they think that you're ignorant and you don't know what's going on. They need to go heal themselves. You've already healed from any childhood wounds you've already been through. That's why you're a high priestess. You've already done the dirt, you know, the dirty work. You've already gotten through the worst of it. But this person doesn't know it because they don't know you and they don't know shit about you. They just think they do. So they thought that you were ignorant and that you wouldn't be able to protect yourself from their spell work. Because this person is so smug. Whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. It's the look on their face. It's the emotion. Um, it's the pompous asshole smugness of the card. It's not the gender of the card, really, that matters at the, on these. Some of them I look at more of a gender, but or as the energy, but... Someone is feeling really smug because they thought you were ignorant. So, I mean, if you're a female energy, this could be the masculine that, you know, was doing this to a femme. You know, you could have been mirroring each other's experiences. You were both possibly dealing with high priest and priestesses doing spell work on you. It happens.
That doesn't mean they are they have to be your twin flame. It just means you were going through similar experiences. Yeah, cord cutting is definitely needed because someone feels like they're being ignored or forgotten. So they're they're gonna keep doing the spell work over and over and over again because someone thinks that they're better than you have been or ever will be. Relax, it will be over soon. Yeah. They tried, to, they tried to unalive you for real. If you tried to leave this person and they knew for sure that you were trying to leave them, they could have done something to your food to seriously unalive you. They're guilty of something. They could be getting found guilty in a court of law as well. Jesus. This person um, was cheating. They had late night phone calls and a second phone. <laughs> You're strong. You'll persevere through this if you haven't already. If you knew what I did, some of you already do. Someone's going to be passing soon. That is their karma. Don't believe what you hear. And this person was doing legit spell work or dark magic. So this person doesn't want you to believe any rumors that you hear about them. Um, they want you to just believe whatever bullshit they come up with to tell you about. This person is not divine. They are evil. And you could probably feel like you want to punch this person, um, especially when you found out that they were doing spell work against you. Someone's going to fall for their own trap. So if someone tried to set you up to be unalived, they're going to fall for their own trap. Because they did something in the last six to nine months, or six to nine months could be significant. This person is a father figure. They could be the father of your child, <clears throat> or, um, you know, just a father figure in general. This person has too many fake profiles to count. And it's funny, because I literally just deleted that video today. It's been in my phone for like a couple days. <laughs> and I was debating on whether or not to upload it. <clears throat> and I literally just deleted it before I did this reading. <clears throat> this person wanted you to be in a state of poverty. A penny saved is a penny earned. But you're going to have money to burn. And beggars can be choosers. This person could come back to you begging because you're going to have money. And they don't. <clears throat> they could have lost a significant amount of money. Uh, someone in a family is related, so a relative could be involved, or this person knows your family or is connected to your family in some way. This person is not a leader. They're not big man on campus. Someone in your family could have also been competing f with you for this person or to be in a relationship with this person. Someone wants to jump in with both feet to do something, but they got caught in the crossfire. I have fire sign Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody thinks you're cute as a button, or they think their actions are as cute as a button. This karmic energy is going to have to bite the bullet. Something is about money. They feel like they ripped, they got ripped off, or they ripped you off. Someone is passionate. <clears throat> they stepped on everyone's toes, or they stepped on someone's toes and created the perfect storm. They messed with the wrong one. You accepted something about this person and moved on if this is you. Something significant about the winter time. Somebody fell off the wagon, so that could be substances or alcohol addictions. Yeah, someone is shady as fuck. And they opened up a whole can of worms. This person is as slippery as an eel. A cancer could be significant. They're not going to be able to breathe a sigh of relief because there's a Scorpio here who did something in July. They thought something would be easy as one, two, three. They thought you were wet behind the ears. They think you're too young and naive and ignorant to know what they were doing or what they are doing. Uh, Taurus could be significant. Someone is pissed off because the cycle has ended. Broken record. You could be younger than this person, or they could be younger than you.
So you could be younger than this person and maybe they thought because you were younger that you were stu stupid and ignorant and you didn't know anything. Jay could be significant person, place, or thing. P. So PJJP could be significant. <coughs> e. Jep. S. That was broken, but... Man, my puzzle pieces are getting broken. O. So. U. Someone could also have a Jeep. Jeep, Jan, Dr a Jeep Grand Cherokee could be significant. M. A mouse could be significant. I don't know, Mickey Mouse could be significant. Z. And O. J E P M O U S. <laughs> Oz. Wizard of Oz. Ah, the true wizard is about to be revealed. And last one, I. Alright, folks, have a good day.